Hello friends, in this video we will be making the complex chromium 3 glycinate. So chromium 3 glycinate is actually a complex formed by the chromium 3 plus ions and the amino acid glycine. It forms beautiful red colored crystals and that is why I am making this compound. Materials required for this preparation includes 2.6 grams of chromium 3 chloride, 2.25 grams of glycine and 2.4 grams of sodium hydroxide. Start by dissolving 2.6 grams of chromium chloride in 20 milliliters of distilled water. Chromium chloride has a nice green color to it. Next in a separate beaker, 2.25 grams of glycine was dissolved in 20 milliliters of distilled water. Glycine is an amino acid. The glycine solution was then added to the chromium chloride solution with constant stirring. Now we take the sodium hydroxide solution which we had made by dissolving 2.4 grams of sodium hydroxide in about 5 milliliters of water in a pipette. The mixture in the beaker was then heated up with stirring and the sodium hydroxide solution was added into it. You can clearly visualize the color change that is happening. It was initially green and later after the addition of sodium hydroxide a purple color is formed which is very similar to the potassium permanganate solution. And what happened here is the chromium formed a complex with glycine that is the chromium 3 glycinate. We have to filter the solution in order to remove any precipitate that has formed according to the literature a precipitate should be formed but in my case I did not get any precipitate and the complete solution just filtered over into the receiving beaker. So what I decided to do is to reduce the volume by about half of the present volume by heating the solution and then evaporating the solution to see what we get. After evaporating, what I got was a very thick paste of, it contains both the crystals as I can see the crystalline structure and a precipitate. So I tried to separate out most of the precipitate from the crystals. I did that by dissolving the compound in very little water and the crystals are relatively much more soluble in water compared to the precipitate. The precipitate is the basic chromium 3 glycinate and it was then filtered off. And this time there was a lot of precipitate in the uh, filter paper stuck on it and that is the basic chromium 3 glycinate and after evaporating the second filtrate you can very well notice the crystalline structure and that is the chromium 3 glycinate and according to the literature it should be red but I did not get it that. This is the dried basic chromium 3 glycinate from the filter paper. The surprising fact is that I had done the same experiment few days back taking random amounts of reactants and to my surprise I actually got the red colored crystals. You can actually see the red crystals of chromium 3 glycinate in this picture but I was not able to capture the video. So yeah chromium 3 glycinate actually has red colored crystals. So I need to find out what the exact mechanism is to make these red colored crystals appear. This was just some random shot. Thank you so much for watching my video. Do support me via Patreon or PayPal just like these cool guys here so that I can do much better videos and much more sophisticated ones than the one I am doing right now. So if you are new to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button. I know that you will do that for me. So I'll see you in the next video.